you walk out of your front door and then you look back because you need to go back inside because you've got something and then you see a very big scratch on your door some vandal came by and vandalized your door your front door what do you do you acknowledge that someone vandalized your door you know who it is but the most important thing is the door needs to be fixed or it needs to be replaced so you focus on that but what often happens in life when we are vandalized or drawn into some type of negativity we become defensive we, f we feel victimized which can be justified but we hold on to this sense of victimization and, and we tend to develop a victim mentality or we just brush things off we don't want to deal with it we so-called move on in both ways we are running some run by playing the victim to get sympathy others run by pushing something off of them it's both running what if you have heard that someone found out that the door was scratched upon and they moved away or that someone was murmuring complaining in the garden that the door was crashed upon in both cases you would think what's wrong with this guy okay someone scratched on your door that shouldn't have happened but your door is more important than the one that scratched on it your door was vandalized right your the opening of your house is more important so either the door is fixed or it needs to be replaced right the same way if you have, if you have a flat tire someone stabbed your tire it's important to replace the tire because if you drive with a flat tire you'll be in trouble you endanger yourself in this video i want to talk about closing satanic doors a satanic door is any opportunity generated by worldly people for demons to get a hold on you so it's not a door you yourself opened or better said it's not an opportunity you made yourself most likely it's not because nobody in the right mind not even worldly people would open satanic doors not even practicing satanists and warlocks would want to open satanic doors a satanic door is any opportunity demons have to get a hold on you therefore a satanic door is every opportunity for evil or harm to unfold itself with you now you can't help the satanic doors are opened but it's up to you let me say this is what you ought to do you ought to acknowledge a satanic door then you close it you don't walk through the door you close the satanic door let me give an example of a satanic door you are at work or maybe not work maybe you're in college and when you're in a social setting and you do what you have to do you do your work or you do your homework whatever it is and you go home you don't push your presence on anyone one day you had a long conversation with a colleague or a fellow student and that's it and offers you hear that people are complaining about you saying you're lying to you are talking too much others saying you're lying people took offense what's going on they don't want to deal with reality they don't want to deal with the situation they have expectations and now they lash out because now they need to relate to reality they just want their expectations so that's their narcissistic attitude that's their defect now they don't want to face this defect of theirs so they project the conflict the inner conflict on someone else and in this case they decided to project it onto you because it's convenient for them to do so what happened they opened a satanic door they granted an opportunity to uh, to evil spirits actually for evil spirits to get a hold on you why because they're now generating negative contention against you and you now get psychic attacks so now your physical health is affected by their negative concentration against you and when you're under psychic attack your energy field weakens so to all the attacks and 
you can get sick, physical sickness, you can have demons that get attached to you, though to, to the wounds in your energy field. So they own the satanic door. Why? Because they want to leave. They don't want to face anything. So they opened a door for just for that so they can have relief. And the door is at your expense. What should you do? You acknowledge what's going on. You acknowledge that it's an attack on your life and on, and on your well-being, as well as the well-being of those around you. You, you don't condone it. Neither do you approve of it. Neither do you excuse it. So you know it shouldn't exist. So now you counter all the negative meditation of those against you. That's how you turn the other cheek. You take practical and constructive action to get yourself out of danger without having to harm the perpetrators. Because the perpetrators are in a, let's say the perpetrators are in a, are in a, in a negativity. They want you in their negativity. They are miserable because they don't want to face things and now they want you in their misery. So when they project onto you, they want to get rid of the self-destruction of their misery, but they don't want to get rid of the misery itself. So now they want to put you in their misery so they can easier transfer their heaviness and their self-destruction onto you. That's what they're doing. So you're not doing that. You're countering it. So by doing this, you are closing the satanic door. Another one. You may have people around you that see you going through stuff, you're even getting sick, so things are getting worse, but those people don't look beyond. They don't look at, at the bigger picture. They're not interested. They only see what's going on now and they react to what's going on now. And some of them may be sincere that they want to help you out and all of that, but look at this. They don't want to look at the bigger picture, so they don't really want to know what's going on. They just want to get rid of everything that's uncomfortable to them. So what happened now? They've opened a satanic door. In this case, you don't know everything, you should know everything. They should have knowledge that they can use, that they can use to assist you, but they don't have that knowledge. Yet, they want to be involved. Why? Because they don't want the bad situation around them. So they want relief, and now they want to assist you in getting their relief. So they want their relief, so now that's the reason they assist you. They've opened a satanic door. Because you may think it's really about you, that they want to help you out, but it's not you. It's about them getting relief. It's a satanic door. It's deception. So, as you understand now, a satanic door is every opportunity granted by worldly people for evil spirits to get hold on you. Don't you know that if you don't close satanic doors, it can mean your premature death. There are people out there who became homicide victims or they got into accidents that were fatal. Why? Though to satanic open doors. Satanic open doors? Okay, let me give another example. You have a guy in his 60s, he, in his body, terminal cancer developed. He only had a few weeks more to live. His, his spouse, his children and grandchildren were all upset because grandpa was about to die due to cancer. How did it happen? When this man was in his 20s, there were a lot of people that couldn't stand them. There were a lot of people that projected their energetic trash onto him. He, at the time, was thinking, you guys have issues, you don't want to face it. He just ignored them and went on. He shouldn't have done that. He shouldn't have confronted them those people either, because cowards, when they're projecting, as you confront them, they escalate. So the man did well by not confronting them, but they should have confronted the situation. Because for the past 40 years, all those people who are projecting onto him, they kept on projecting. Because to project, because look at this, cowards project their energetic trash on you, so, for, so they get their ease. That ease they get is their drug. So once they succeed, in projecting their energetic trash on you, they'll keep on doing it. So with this guy, for past 40 years, he suffered psychic attacks, but the psychic attacks didn't kill him immediately. The psychic attacks harmed his health. And now the harm that was caused is manifesting him having terminal cancer. But the root 
of the issue happened when the guy was in the 20s. Now he's in the 60s, he's working out. So just understand that negative projection is quite dangerous. So you should counter it. So you have to close satanic doors. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be at that doesn't mean you have to involve yourself with everyone. That doesn't mean that you have to be on good terms with everyone because you can't be on good terms with everyone because some people don't want to be on good terms with you. They want to blame you. They want to scapegoat you. How are you going to be on good terms with them if they don't even want to be on good terms with you? You can have, you can be on good terms towards them, but you can't be on good terms with them if they're persisting in darkness. You need to close satanic doors. Christ talked about binding and losing. That's what I'm talking about. You need to close, that means bind satanic doors. If you don't do that, then what's the use of prayer? What's the use of walking by faith? If you can't shut down opportunities to do evil. Too many people, unfortunately also believers, is when things are way too late, it's then they realize something is up. I'm telling you beforehand, you need to close satanic doors. Some of you, you have people you hang out with that God wants you to be free from. Because those people have all kinds of satanic doors opened into their, uh, in their lives. Some of those satanic doors, they've opened themselves due to their negative attitude or because they don't want to process things, other satanic doors were opened by others in, at, at their expense. Anyway, they have satanic doors open. And through those satanic doors, curses, demons, hexes, spells, sicknesses, depression, suicidal tendencies, all that is, is coming through those satanic doors. And you hang around such people. Why are you hanging around them? Don't you know that their satanic doors will enable harm on you in the long run? Don't you know that? So, again, do not open satanic doors. Even if you're invited to, even if you're asked, don't do it. Always shut down satanic doors. Be at peace.